This is pretty exciting. It is the first official night of the food truck. Seven minutes. They are opening so in seven exciting. minutes and they have a car waiting. Look, there he is. He's waiting. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! Woo! She asks every day, when are we having a baby? She does every day? <laughs> At least five times a day. Not quite sure why there's that much water on our lawn right there. <sighs> there must be a water line break or something. But it's fun to see all those little birds taking a bath in there. All of the winter birds are coming back there. The birds from up north are flying south for the winter. And so all, whoa, all of the pretty birds are back in our yard again. <laughs> Today we were able to run the mile in 14 minutes and 36 seconds, which last week when we ran, we did it in 15 minutes. So the kids were able to take less breaks for shorter time. I love getting my kids outside to exercise. Um, I love running. And so if they can learn to love exercise and taking care of their body and the way they feel afterwards, it will be so worth it because first when you wake up it's like oh I'm tired I don't want to get up I don't want to go and even even during it's hard it's like I don't want to do this the first quarter of a mile is hard to get your like your blood pumping and your heart rate good and your and your um, stride and your all of those things together um, it's hard it's like oh my gosh this is so hard but then once you get going and you have a good pace and your blood is pumping nicely and your heart rate is good, then it makes running so much easier. And you feel so good when you're done. Not only are you feel accomplished, but your body has been moving and so it feels better. I think we might get to the point where we're running two days a week. We'll see. The kids did so much better today. I'm excited to see how they progress next time we go running and maybe we can go farther. Okay, come on. What? What happened? Tell mom what happened. I was climbing the, um, the ladder. And Which we've told him not to do many times over the last few days. What ladder? He bonked his head, but look at his neck. Can you go? The pool ladder? Yes. Yeah. What, is it sitting up or laying down? Laying down. Here you go. But we've told those kids over the last few days, stop climbing on it, someone's gonna get hurt. Do you remember me saying that? Yeah. Do you trust me now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trust me when I say don't climb on it. I don't mean I don't want you to have fun. I mean, I don't want you to get hurt because it's easy to get hurt. Was it easy? Yeah, very easy. It could have been way worse too. Yeah, Bumped his head. It could have been that we had to go to the well, hospital look. again. Well, we have to watch it. That's a that's pressure, so it probably hurt his esophagus pretty bad. Is it hurt inside there? It hurts right here, but it, not inside. Okay, you're lucky because that can that can do a lot of damage right there. Mm -hmm. Look at that, mommy. I think I need to put a bandaid on it. No, it's not bleeding. It's just like a surface bleed. What does? Surface meat. It means it looks, it means it's just on the skin. So it looks like it's bleeding, but it's under the skin. <laughs> Thanks, buddy, but he doesn't it's need the that. Smallest bandit yeah. I can yeah, find. He doesn't need that giant bandit on his neck. Should we put this across your whole neck? No. No, you don't need a bandit. It's, it's not bleeding. It's the smallest <laughs> bandit. Thanks for help, Az. You're welcome. Geek, what do you tell Az? Thank you, Az. You're welcome.
I love succulents. I keep this one in my bathroom. It has rocks that my kids have made me. It has the Yoda rock that Johnny and I got in Disneyland. It has heart rocks that my kids have found for me. I love you rocks. And uh, I just love succulents. And I, am, I can't keep them alive. I don't know. I've gone to where I only water them when the, everything is like so dry. And this one actually, this one right here, this one has actually been alive for quite a while. They will do really good and they'll grow. And then, I don't know, all of a sudden it will start like, the leaves will start dying underneath. Or one, I like went to take off a leaf and the whole thing came off and there was no roots. <laughs> and so, I don't know. And these succulents, they said they're inside plants. I don't know, we'll try these new ones and see how long they last. Because I just love them so much. I love the look of cute little succulents. I love them. I mean, isn't that adorable? Look at those cute succulents. I want to see this succulent. Hey, come see it. <laughs> Can I water them? No, I already watered them. I had to water them to put the dirt in. So next week we'll water them again. <laughs> Smoking Tacos food truck is about to make its maiden voyage. Starring Tommy, Tommy, and all the other Tommies all over the truck. Okay, so I just want to know your thoughts and your feelings right at this moment. I'm hot and I'm thirsty. Yeah. A little sweaty. Uh, there's a little bit of nervousness. I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. Like, rolling down the road with that generator going is giving me a little bit of a, uh, we'll see. Yeah. But uh, once we get parked, we get set, and I get all the food is done and ready to go, we'll just shred the meat, and light the fires. Party time. Party time. Okay, we have. Let's all execute for the next we four have hours. An hour and seven minutes. Time hour and seven it. minutes, yep. Wait a minute. You just already got in business. How are you uh, making money? Oh, uh, we got a printer out back. Oh, mm -hmm. it's called the van. Yeah, they, they print the money and then hand it to you. That's how it works, yeah. right? That's what we thought happened. So we are, uh, it's done. We, we're finished with all the checking the boxes in business 100%. That is exciting. Hey, so done. exciting. It is done. Now it's Allie's turn to go learn how to work on a food truck. Oh, Allie is oh going to work. Oh, oh. <laughs> She's going to launch the food truck all on her own. No, not really. <laughs> I was going to say, um, I beg to differ. Her face was like, no. I'm going to go help out. Chicken's done. Chicken done. In the bed of the truck. Chicken's in the bed of the truck. <laughs> and this up here is the brisket. Brisket. Okay, Allie. You excited to work this thing? Yeah, totally. I don't know how to work the whole money stuff yet. So tell me what happened. So TR opened the fridge so we could get drinks and everything all ready to go and there was a quart of the pepper sauce and it exploded all over the floor. So all over earth. you? Me and TR, on my pants, on my shoes. I wiped most of, them, most of it off. So first setback of the night, but I think it's the last one. Yep. Okay. Next time, check the fridge, right? Yeah. Other than that, things are going what? great. Oh, it's chef approved. This is pretty exciting. It is 4.50 p.m. and we are right here at the food truck. It is the first official night of the food truck being open for business and we'll see how it goes tonight. We've told some family and friends and and the Instagram handle is up. There we go, right there. See that blue Camaro right I'm there? I'm so excited for Dion. They drove past and then they just drove past again. They're like, are they open? It starts in. Seven minutes. They are opening so in seven exciting. minutes and they have a car waiting. Look, there he is, he's waiting. 
Waiting for some tacos. So awesome. It's not just us excited and waiting, it's other people want food too. Yay! So exciting. You are worth it. What is happening in here? Two minutes, people. Two minutes. Okay. You have someone waiting in line that isn't a family member already. Allie's putting meat back in the smoker. Rachel and yeah, Sarah. Now, Branson and Mara could, in fact, have a baby that is blonde hair and blue eyes. Yep. Yeah. True. <laughs> they could, yeah. So that could be them right there. It's a very distant gene, but it's there. But it's it's there. there. Why does Mara look like look at you like that when you're a baby, Branson? <laughs> What? Because she asks every day, when are we having a baby? She does? Every day? At least five times a day. Uh, that's more like 10 or 12. Why do you look at him like that? <laughs> what do you mean? That's a different look. Uh, Why do you... I need my baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're stealing it. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Cal. Go Cal. Woo! 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 Food truck is all done for the day. You can officially say that you worked a food truck. I officially worked a food truck today, taking orders, which I had actually so much fun. I didn't think I was gonna have as much fun as I did because I'm not great at customer service stuff. You're great. But I had a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. I think the only thing I had to complain about it is I've had cramps all day, which, that's it. <laughs> How do you feel it went? I think it was phenomenal. I think it was a great grand opening, even though it's kind of a soft opening. It's a good grand opening, and you know, TR can take his business and run with it. And without you, I don't think he would have been able to handle all, all of the traffic and stuff. So, good job. Thanks. I think it was a good team effort, and yeah, success in launching. Mm -hmm. So, I gotta go clean my shoes and my pants, because I got orange splatters all over them, which they look like sweet potatoes. But not it's sweet not. potatoes. <laughs> but, yeah. Overall, successful day. Work hard, guys. It pays off. Mm -hmm. It really, really does. Sometimes it's stressful. In fact, a lot of times it's stressful. You just have to remember that who you're becoming and what you're becoming because of it. Not. It's not really about this whole, what's this thing gonna do for me? It's actually, it's doing more for you than the financial. These tasks, these difficult things, school, education, all those other things. It's about who you become. It's about what you are, where, the, where you're growing. It's not necessarily about, if you're planting a garden and you get lots of fruit from that garden, the best fruit that you got from that garden is the work and effort you put in. That's where, that's yeah. the most thing that grows. The thing that grows the most, I should say. Yep. Hard work pays off, guys. It really, really does. We love you guys. Thank you for all you are to us. We have been seeing more and more people out as we um, are out and about. And um, it is so refreshing to hear people to say thank you for the you are worth it message. Mm -hmm. You are worth it message. Um, because it means so much to them and it means so much to us. Um, so. Yes. You guys are more, we've had uh, had several people reach out to me and say, can I use the you are worth it message, please? Please tell your friends and family yes. that are struggling or, or otherwise, just let them know that their value is endless. 
Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Yeah. Never forget that. You are, you are worth, worth it. it. Bye, guys.